Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have a ton of new drugstore makeup. She went to HEB. She went to Ulta. Okay, satisfaction. I was at the grocery store really late last night because I had a craving for spicy guacamole. I only have two items here that are over 10 bucks. Um, and this is the LA Girl Pro Sculpt. I have been wanting to try this. I also got the LA Girl Pro Powder Sculpt and Highlight Palette. We're gonna do a full day wear test. I'll be fixing the hair, getting a little more pulled together. You'll come with me on my day and we will see how all of this new makeup wears. Oh, we have new Wet n Wild foundation. I am so excited for all of these new launches. I have been craving a good new juicy drugstore try on and I got some good stuff. We're gonna start out with this primer from Catrice. This is the Endless Pearls Beautifying Primer. This is 10 bucks. You can get it on their website. Also, I just like to mention that when you go to individual websites, it's not sponsored, but when you go to individual websites, you can get a discount usually if you're willing to give your email and then they'll send you the discount. I love being the deal queen still after all these years. Okay, so this one is 10 bucks. This has castor oil in it. It's alcohol free. There's no fragrance in here. It's marked gluten free, paraben free, microplastic particle free. Everything about this screams, I will be gentle on your more finicky skin. I try my best with primers to not overdo the fragrance, especially because my skin just like goes haywire. This looks like Givenchy. Like I'm super curious, right? Is this not a little, like, isn't that interesting? I'm gonna take a couple of squirts. It comes out, not chunky, but you definitely are going to want to massage this in the skin, maybe a little bit more than you would your typical primers that you can kind of just slap on. So give yourself a little loving massage. I've been so into facial massage right now. So, I mean, I naturally am doing all of this with whatever I put on my face at the moment. This is nice. It's giving like a nice sheen. I don't have a pore filling primer. I'm a little concerned about how that will make me love foundation. I don't know. Should I put on my tart? Wow. Shine. The shine. I. You know what I'm going to do? I need this on my chest too. Love castor oil. Oh, you know what else has castor oil in it that I was kind of shocked about? This Essence Overnight Lip Jelly. Have you guys seen this? This is a sleeping mask. Reminds me an awful lot of Laneige, which I'm trying to hunt down the cotton candy variety. This has kind of a vanilla scent to it. I just wanted to give a shout out. This is probably one of the best inspired by dupes, if you will. It's nice. All right, so we're gonna let that soak in and I am gonna take just, just, I can't, I can't not. So we're just, look how much, like my fingernails are like dug into the bottom of this thing. I'm gonna need a new one pretty soon. So just in this region is kind of my comfort zone. I don't know that that's playing well with the, Ooh, really happy I did not put that everywhere. So silicone does not want to play with this primer. Beware. This is the new Wet n Wild Niacinamide Skin Tint with 5% niacinamide. It says buildable from sheer. This foundation is easy to wear under any makeup. And for me, I'm like, oh, so under foundation and then we put more on top. Oh my gosh, I need to get over my full coverage fantasy life. This is loaded with niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, peony extract, vitamin E. This has a natural finish. It doesn't state that it's good for one particular skin type or another, not the greatest shade range either, but it is a tint, so there is a lot more wiggle room between shades. So I'm gonna go in with, which one do we wanna do? I got two shades. I got fair beige and medium because I don't know, I'm just like, I'm either gonna do a spray tan or I'm just waiting for the weather to turn. I do not like being this pale, to be honest. I don't know how much I love the dropper thing. I prefer a pump. This gets kind of messy, but we shall see. I'm gonna go in with a sponge and let's see. Yeah, this shade is actually gonna work just fine. Did it do anything? 
I think it did something. It's giving a little bit of an even finish. I know I have a lot I would like to cover. Like I'm still seeing pigmentation poke through. This is definitely giving a your skin but better finish. I do really love this one from Wet n Wild. This is a thicker, more coveragey, but still really natural finish product from Wet n Wild that I swear by. I love this one so much that I was specifically in the grocery store looking to see if Wet n Wild had any new formulas and I almost repurchased the Photo Focus. I think I wanna do kind of a throwback old favorites video because that was such a good one. And I don't know why Wet n Wild does foundation so well. It's not expensive, but it just, always looks good. It's really consistent and this is nice. It's just a slightly lighter, thinner version of the tinted hydrator. This thing is driving me nuts though, I will say. You have to really like press and like get the product in the dropper. This feels nice. Like it just feels like a drink of water for your skin but not oily and slip and slidey. Like it's actually like my skin is receiving it. It's not like pilling and pulling and streaking. It's actually like a nice drink of water for the face. I don't have concealer. How do I not have concealer? I'm gonna take just a little bit of Maybelline Fit Me Concealer because I don't have a new concealer. Gosh darn. I really hope we can't all hear James's Zoom call because like that's all I can hear is him working. I have really good ears though, so I don't know. Okay, we're gonna go into this LA Girl Sculpt Palette. I had seen this online. I was like, oh yeah, I've tried that before, the J-Cat Beauty one. And I'm like, wait a second, that's an entirely different brand. And do we remember when for a while that's all I would talk about? I was like, I think I like this better than my RCMA palette. And I'm gonna use this for everything. And it is the very best. And enough of you guys were like, please try something new. Like, please, we're sick of seeing this. And got rid of it. And now I want it again. I feel like this is gonna be incredible. Let's kind of feel the texture. It's nice and creamy, simultaneously juicy. Oh yes, okay. This is the kind, ooh. Sound the alarm. I think a tech guy is here. I might have to press pause on this, which is always like, oh my gosh. Like workers in the house that have to come and fix things or do things or anybody in the house that doesn't understand like, what do you do for a living? Like this room is the most bizarre room ever. You know what I'm saying? Let's sculpt. Let's just kind of try it out. I'm not gonna go into the crazy darker shades here. I'm gonna go into this one right here and maybe a little bit next door. And we're just going to See how this goes. Is this the best idea on top of a skin tint? Maybe, maybe not. It's actually shearing out quite nicely, so that's actually pretty good. Pook is very lively right now, which makes me want to run out there. He's good, sleeping a lot, comfortable, um, but my little old man. Yeah, a lot of you guys are still asking and thank you for your concern. He is going through it but it is what it is. Okay, so I like how this is blending. I'm a little bit concerned they're gonna barge back in here. You know what I'm saying? I think this is quite nice. I might like the J-Cat one more though. I'm ordering it again. I know you guys were so over it, but I'm just, I'm not. I want it again, I'm gonna order it again. Okay, I'm gonna go into this deeper shade right here and let's look really crazy for someone to come back in here. I'm a beauty expert, you know? Hi. Okay, you know what this kind of a palette is so good for because it almost has like a thicker pull with the texture. So good for contouring the lips. It's not as creamy as the RCMA. RCMA, you literally can take a fluffy brush and you can go on the forehead, on the face. You could use this as foundation, but it has a lot of glide. This and the J-Cap palette don't have as much glide. There's definitely a nice juiciness to it. It just for some reason works really well to do a good lip contour 
loving that so much. I'm feeling like I really like this and I'm tempted to go on the forehead with it. Oh yeah, I wanna get the jaw. Let's like, let's do up the jaw. I'm gonna put on a little bit of this new camo blush from e.l.f. Everybody is going bananas for it online. I am so curious. I was so happy to find this at Ulta. I'm a little bit intimidated because it looks very, very pigmented. I have this shade Peach Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and dab this on a glass palette and pick it up from there because I do not trust myself to just go in with the dots. It's just not for me. This did not disappoint. The lay down was perfect. The color is gorgeous. The blend is so good. I'm an immediate fan. Don't have a new powder, so I'm just gonna go in really quickly with this found translucent setting powder. If you watched my pop shelf video, everything under like five bucks and some of the product was so freaking good. I will link that video below. I'm gonna bronze up the face with this new palette from LA Girl right here, the powder palette that does come with two highlighters. Let's check those out really quick. I have a highlighter from Makeup Revolution that I think I'm a little more interested in, but I do want to bronze the face with this palette right here. I really like this shade. It's like that perfect kind of terracotta, not terracotta, but it reminds me of like the tones in Guerlain bronzers. Uh, let's see how the lay down is and let's see how pigmented these are. A little dusty. It's just, I'm gonna get the whole thing. I think I went a little too hard on the neck. Um, these pack some serious pigment. Let's go in with a little bit of highlighter. This is the new Beam Bright Highlighter. I believe this is an exclusive to Ulta. I saw these and immediately was like, yes, I wanna try it. It looks baked and gorgeous and it's gonna have that nice like beam. But whenever something is baked like this, it does not emphasize pores, which I look out for because I don't want to exaggerate texture, but I do want to glow. This is in the shade Rose Luster. There are four or five shades. They looked really pretty. I did pick up the new Skin Silk from Makeup Revolution. I was torn on which one to try today. I will be trying this one soon. Super curious. I did swatch it in store. It smells so refreshing. It's really thin. Like I would almost use it as a primer from what I could tell off the back of my hand. It's not super pigmented, but I'm definitely curious. Let's see. Ooh, the, it's actually hard to the touch though. So that's interesting. Uh, well, let's hope for the best. I like it, I actually like it. It did not show up like, it's not like a blinding swatch, like an eyeshadow where you're like, bam. But on the skin, it's definitely doing, it's working hard for that shine. Like it's doing its job. Wow, yeah, no, that is, th this is deceiving. The touch of it is terrible. The swatch of it, not great, but you put it on the face and it is beautiful. Wow, I love that. I surprisingly love that. I love the color. I love how it looks on the skin. I love the way it's reflecting light. That's beautiful. 
All right, that's a winner. I do have a new brow product that I am kind of terrified of, but I wanted to try it in the art of just really going for those newer displays and checking out something new. You guys know from the video I did where I said I tried every Maybelline item made and here's what I like and what I don't. I'll link that video below as well. I typically have not had the best of luck with Maybelline brows, so forgive me, but I already have kind of a sour attitude going in. I'm just gonna like, share that with you guys. This has a gel on one side that is going to laminate the brows and then it has the pen, which I always want to work, but for some reason just seldom does for me. I like it. This has potential. Like I want this to work. I really, I wanna have that kind of a brow. I want this to work. Let's go in with like the, the big guns and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm doing it with the magnification. Oh, they're being kind of, it's kind of being weird right at the front part of the brow. Okay, I feel like I was able to soften the front part of the brow just a little bit by taking just leftover powder on my brow brush and just kind of fanning them a little bit. I gotta sort this out. I really love that feathery look to a brow, but my brows, they're not even related at this point. It's like one's really high up and shaped kind of funny, and then the other is like a perfect arch, and it's just a whole thing. I am gonna set this in place with the tiniest spoolie of all time, and hopefully get these puppies to laminate upward is the idea. I like it. Oh my gosh, as I was just like Maybelline, I don't like the brows. I just need to go and get my brows shaped and then it could be like a whole new world for me. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? I have tried this before, but this is a brand new product from Physicians Formula. I received it in PR and immediately went to town. This is an incredible, incredible little duo. What is this guy called? The Eye Lifters Eyeshadow. And you have a darker, more contour shade on one side, which it looks crazy what I'm about to do. But this is what I've been doing like every morning. It blends so easily and and so beautifully, it's just like a nice soft blur. Wear it on its own or use this as your eye base if you're gonna do something a little heavier. And then I'll even take the excess and just kind of lightly fan it on the side of the nose. And then if I need just a little more, I'll go straight on the tip of the product and kind of go back on that outer corner. It's so easy to work with. If you have difficult outer edges to your eyes, which I do, my bone wants to like jut almost underneath the edge of my eye. And so really blurring out over here is difficult for me. It can look really patchy and weird. And a product like this, you can go back in with your Velour Puff or sponge and just really easily blend out that edge that sometimes can be such a pain. I am gonna take the pinky side and use this as my eye base. And this is not as opaque as you might think. I'm actually just gonna take the same brush. It's just really great out the door, like throw on some mascara, you're done. Really love that. Now what I wanna do is go in to Moira, where are you at? All right, this is new, got this at Heb. It literally had a little flag on it saying new. Caught my attention. This is in the shade Fantasy 06. This is the new Star Show Shadow Pots. I love a good shadow pot. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just use my finger and just dab. Oh my gosh, Moira. Where did you come from? Like, where are you from? Where have you been? How did you, how did you do all this? Like, this is gorgeous. And the look is complete. I am now gonna put on some liner and mascara and I feel really cute. A plus, smash hit. We are finding all sorts of really, really great products in this try-on and I'm super curious to see how they wear all day. I am gonna go into the Revlon Colorstay Multiplayer. This is a shade I have not used. This is high stakes. It's a really rich brown. Love this formula. This is a newer one from Revlon. That is like a rich espresso brown.
I'm loving that eye color, like top shelf, loving that color. This has a lot of claims. This is new from Wet n Wild. This is the So Defined 24 hour defines, volumizes, lifts, elongates, and lengthens. This is flake proof, smudge proof with castor oil. The moment I read castor oil, I was like, nourish my lashes, please. I don't want brittle lashes that are just falling out when I curl them. And I am really curious. I like the packaging, like the price. We're trying this one out. Oh, the brush is a lot beefier than what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be one of those slender brushes. Oh my gosh, I feel like an elegant woman. I feel like I don't need lashes. Was gonna do these today? I'm not so sure. Kiss the new natural clean and defined look with a lifted effect. I was really jazzed to try these, but honestly, I'm really curious to see if this holds a curl, smudges, flakes, does anything weird because this is like, this is really nice. I'm doing that thing where I wanna press my luck and go in for another coat, you know? Let's just see. Ooh, it's letting me. It is letting me stop this right now. I love it when I find a product like this just at random, like I am not even joking, going for my freaking guacamole snack and I am in the ugliest outfit ever and just wandering in the grocery store late at night and I find the most beautiful mascara for eight bucks, stop it. All right, I am gonna go on top of the blush just a little bit because I have this super fun palette from Makeup Revolution. I got this at Walgreens. They had a Grease X Revolution collab. This is the hopelessly devoted palette. It's a highlighter palette, but it's really blushy. That is blingy, right? What do we do? Let's do like a little of this right here. I'm juicy today, juicy woman today. This is not my normal go-to. Like I normally do not do as much shine on the face. It's been a minute. So I feel like, do I look glowy or greasy? Um, okay, we need lips. I have this lip liner from Revlon that says, this will work with all nudes. This is the shade chocolate. I don't know, we shall see. Kind of judging you, um, but I do like the color stay line. So let's give it a go. This kind of has Lolita vibes from KVD. I do want to try this out from Makeup Revolution. This is Brunch Pink Nude, and I just really like the packaging of this. It looks really high end. It feels substantial. It's like a matte texture on the actual plastic component. I like that they put the swatch of the product on the outside too, because sometimes with the lipsticks at the drugstore, you're really, you're going in so blind. Uh. Like it, don't love it. We have another one. Oh, this is interesting. It's just like a jelly. Also from Makeup Revolution. Absolutely not happening. This is not happening right now. Maybe another time. Thought that would be a lot more sheer than it is. Okay, this is super random. It's from a brand called Blossom, but this was at HEB and I just, it's got like blue at the bottom, do you see? Let's just kind of check it out. Tropical scented, actually, that smells so good. I mean, this is not my best lip day, but what can you do? I gotta go curl my hair. We need a brush, some hairspray, some dry shampoo, and a Dyson. I don't have a lot of hope that this makeup is gonna last all day long. It doesn't feel secure in the way that my more full coverage routine feels, but it does look really nice. Like I can look in the mirror and I look fresh. It's not cakey, it's very glowy. And I think we have a lot of winning products here. So I'm gonna go do my hair, do my day, and we will do some check-ins along the way. It's just, this is not the highlighter, by the way. It's just like the skin is a little, do we see? Like, it's like greasy, breaking apart. People love skin tints. I get that. I'm not one of the people. I keep trying and they just don't work for me. So I'm going to curl my hair, make the best of it. I've got my 
part of my guacamole here. And I'm so desperate because I ate all the tortilla chips that I'm going to have regular potato chips with it. It will be delightful. I'm gonna curl my hair. And I love the mascara. Love that eyeshadow. I always curl my bangs last. If you're ever curious, now you know. And then I do this business for some reason. James doesn't like my makeup today either, so. You know what's funny? It actually looks better in this light. Thank you. Thank you. It's still too greasy, I get it. It's a little shiny. It's a little overhydrated. What do you call it, breaking up? Like it's- It's breaking up with me. But who am I to judge? My makeup, I have no makeup. I, I, I don't, you know, you are way prettier than me. Yeah, sometimes as a man, you just don't know the right thing to say. Except, I think you look beautiful always. Oh. This makeup day is not going as planned. I almost don't want to bring the camera so close because it's just pretty bad. I'm going to show you guys back under the big studio lights. It's breaking apart. I don't really feel as cute or fresh anymore, but it is what it is. Uh, there's James. I'm mailing my best friend a birthday gift and picking up PR. Let's go. It is now 10.30 at night. This makeup does not wanna be on my face anymore. We are at the bitter end of it and I am just, I need to do a little bit. Like literally there's oil around the nostril, which ugh, is just like a thing that I cannot have. We all know my feelings about the foundation. I'm a little bit sad about it, but I have plenty of foundation that I love. So it's not that big of a thing. I'm definitely gonna give the photo focus another try. And I do have to say, as mentioned in the beginning of this video, this one wears beautifully. For some reason, the more gel cushy texture is better for my skin type. The skin tint was a pass. Things we love. Love, love, gonna be using these again. Love so much. I did not touch up anything on the lid. I do want to play with one more shade while we're here. Why not? I'm gonna be washing my face in just a second. So let's just pop on a green metallic something. This is in the shade Just Right. So let's see if this one is just right. This shade right here that I put on way, way, way many hours ago, it did wear well for the most part. So I don't not like it. I actually like it quite a bit. The brow product also really like quite a bit. Let's just pop this on top and see. I do this almost every night. I know there's a trend right now happening about doing your makeup before you shower. I'm telling you, this is the way to learn. You wanna see if a color is good on you, pop it on before you take your makeup off. Go aggressive, play with it. I've done this for so long testing product. Literally, I will put on like a hot pink lipstick, test out a green shadow, whatever, because I know I'm getting the cleansing balm out and this is all gonna go in a second. So if it looks terrible or messy, don't really care. Doesn't really bother me. That is beautiful. Wow. I mean, I like it. I like it. You know what I have behind me? Hold on. What even is this? The most interesting PR I've received in a while. I, this has nothing to do with this video. Oh, it's a celebration. Yay, it's gonna be really fun to clean up. We have lippies, matte lipstick, matte lipstick. I wanna try one on, I just, she has attention problems. Just like, we're just gonna go with it. Oh man, look at this. What? So it's nothing to do with this video. Just, oh, I might edit it out. It's just, just. I'm gonna be sitting here trying on lipstick for the next like 20 minutes. If you wanted to know what's going on in my life, that is it. You know what, let's try this one on too, just cause this was like not, maybe not the best color. Swatched. Yeah, that formula. 
is nice, but I don't know that this is like for me, you know? Don't care that it made me a little bit shiny, according to my husband. I still like this highlighter. The blush from e.l.f., so good. This liner from Revlon, love. Love this lip liner from Revlon as well. Absolutely have been loving this Physicians Formula number right here. And then the mascara, oof, I have not touched up at all. And normally by the end of the day, I am a much bigger mess, especially when my face gets greasy like this. For some reason, it just migrates everywhere. So I'm a fan of this mascara. There were good things we discovered in this adventure of trying new drugstore makeup. And obviously some things on the skin that just did not do great, but that's what a good wear test is all about. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go have a good one, whatever you are doing. Make sure you are subscribed before you leave and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.